This is how to change color in Photoshop using color range and hue saturation. To start, just go up to select and then down to color range. In here, you get the color picker. You can pick on the color that you want to change. As you can see in the selection here, whatever is white is what's going to be fully changed. Whatever is black is not going to be changed at all because it's not selected. And then within the grays, whatever is the lightest is kind of closest to white, so it might get changed quite a bit. And then whatever is in the darkest that's closest to black will probably not get changed very much. And then play around with fuzziness here to determine how much is the blend between what's selected and what's not. If you need to add more to your selection, you can use this plus, so that, and then just drag along in the area that you want to select. So now it's selecting more of this range of colors in here besides the first time when I just clicked once and it was one color that it was selecting from. If you want to get rid of some of your selection, you can use this minus. So if I want to go up here and go, no, I don't want that, you can try and pick some of these things to get rid of some of the selection to narrow it back down and then just click OK. Now, sometimes the selection works out pretty good like that, but sometimes it doesn't. Like up here, there's some stuff that's now selected that we don't want. So instead of just doing it for the whole image, another way to do it with this one is to actually use your lasso tool or any other selection tool and make a fairly refined selection. It doesn't have to be super perfect, but you just want to kind of narrow down the zone that we're going to be picking our color from. Okay, so if that's that selection, I can go back up to select color range and you can see it's kind of narrowed in now. So now when I go to the plus and I add some colors in, yes, there's some other ones that are being selected around here, but it's not selecting all of this around there. I'm going to go to minus, maybe just try and get rid of that. And that's a pretty good selection. I'm going to increase the, no, yeah, increase the fuzziness a little bit and click OK. So now my selection is a little bit better. I still might have some stuff on the outside, but we can clean that up after. Then all you're going to do is go over to your adjustment layers, add hue saturation. And now when we play around with this, it'll only change what we had selected. As you can see, that's represented in the white down here. Whatever is black is not going to be affected by our hue saturation adjustment layer. At this point, it's a good idea to zoom in and see if you have any extra stuff. So right here, you can see that that's beyond the selection. It's impacting the background a little bit. There might be some other spots around. So just look at the stuff that's beyond what you want to be selected that might have been in the selection that you did with the lasso tool. If you find some stuff like this, then just go back to your mask, go to your brush, and make sure you have a black brush in the foreground down here. And then obviously adjust your brush and hardness, I think, you know, in the 60s is good, but adjust your brush for what makes sense. So in this case, I'm going to use a kind of medium-ish brush here, and I'm just going to clean up all the extra stuff that might be around that I had selected with the lasso tool, but that I don't want to be changing the color of at all. And just kind of go around and clean up those edges until you are happy with what is remaining. Now, if you want these to be two different colors, that's really easy. All you have to do is go over to your adjustment layer, hold Control J to duplicate it. It's going to look wonky at first, but then just click on one mask. And with your black brush, I'd increase it. You can just paint over one of them on this mask and then switch over to the other mask and paint over the other one. Obviously, they're going to look the same for right now, but since they're on two different adjustment layers here, now on one of them, all I have to do is click back on here and I can adjust this one to be something else if I want. And then if you want to change something else in the image like I did on the thumbnail, like the background or the sweater, all you have to do is follow the same steps. Go back to your background image, go over to select, color range, and then click on the other thing that you want to change. So in this case, I'm going to select the background. You can see that it makes that selection. Yeah, and you can see that there's some gray in here. So we're going to have to fix that up after the fact. I'm not going to do it now. I like that selection. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to add my adjustment layer. That's a hue saturation. And now I can play around with the background. I'm going to make it like I did on the thumbnail, maybe a bright green. But you can see on her face, can you see in there? There's some green blotches that are now showing up on her face, which we don't want. And that's what's kind of showing up right on this. The black part is what we want. And there's some little gray spots in there. So let's just click back on it, make sure we're on our black brush, and then just paint over her face 
or the area that you don't want to be affected. So I'm gonna go all into the hair up here. I'm not gonna go too close to the edge. I'm just gonna clean up everything that I want to maintain um, as part of the original image of the original colors and the original look of the image. And then I'm just gonna group these together so I can hide it so we can see the before and after. If you got something out of this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you next time.